Hello there my crafty little buggers and welcome back to my messy apartment. Though you're not gonna see it this time, or me for that matter. Am I back in the YouTube game? Well, yes and no. I've been honing my illustration and animation skills in the past two years or so, while actively working as a motion graphics designer for a marketing company, and I think I'm ready to show my progress to you. At this point, I have about 60 or so screen recordings of various illustrations and animations from the world of my favorite board games, and that's tabletop role-playing games for you who might be watching my content for the first time. Before we continue, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Crafty's Tabletop and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming content. No worries, I'll wait. Alright, now that the unpleasantries have been dealt with, I can tell you what you're looking at right now. This is an animation I did for the upcoming Paleo Gaming's podcast that's gonna feature their game Omega Horizon, which is currently in the final stage of its development. They're not pushing their online presence a lot, so you might not know about them, but their tabletop RPG developers paired with an international community of online video game players and competitive esports teams. And you should really check them out. Not just because they're a bunch of cool people, but also because their game is really awesome. I'll put the links to their Twitter profile and their Discord server in the description box below the video so you can get engaged with their community, development process, playtesting and such. I'm gonna leave the juicy stuff about the game itself for one of the future videos, but what I can tell you right now is that Omega Horizon is a space punk tabletop RPG set in a largely dystopian future where four major factions dominate the galaxy. That's the extremely simplified version of the setting. Of course, there's more to it. What I like about the game the most is that it features a unique scaling complexity within its rules, which allows GMs and players to determine whether their game will be rules light or cinematic, or crunchy, complex, based on the needs of their individual group. You can read more about the Omega Horizon on the link I provided in the description, but I will speak more of it in the future videos. So, what am I doing here? I'm showing you the process of animating this space scene using one of the Omega Horizon artworks by Gareth Slightholm. I hope I'm not butchering his last name. Well, let's hope for the best, fingers crossed. I'll leave the link to his website, portfolio and social networks in the description as well. This particular process shows the cinematic version of the scene the one that you had the chance to see at the beginning of this video and I made some slight changes to it so that it's loopable for the purpose of the podcast. If you want to see that one, well, just wait until the end of the video. Since it's a loading screen or rather waiting screen, it should look seamless. And finally, before I leave you to some music by Nomen and the process itself, I should tell you what to expect from this channel in the near future. I'll try to upload twice a week if I'm not overwhelmed by work, that is, which happens occasionally. When it comes to animation and motion graphics, I'll just let you enjoy the process without a lot of talk, because it's mostly a problem-solving process, not a lot of specifics, so I'm not sure I can point you in the right direction and give you tips on how to actually do stuff. But if you're interested in some particular part of the process, just leave a comment down below, ask me, I'll be happy to answer. As for the illustration, I'm doing a lot of it for my upcoming Kickstarter, more about that in the future, and I'm using a lot of different techniques to produce each individual one. So I'll try to give you some useful tips at least, and if there is enough people interested, I just might make some exclusive content for those who wish to see the process in real time and perhaps learn a bit more. So without further ado, enjoy the animation process and lightness by Nomen, the most satisfying piece of music in the universe, in my humble opinion at least. Cheers! Cheers. 